Question number 27 says the positive variables P and C change with respect to time. So we have to kind of remember that's positive. Changing with respect to time means this is a related rate problem. Okay, so we have this, this uh, implicit function, P squared equals 20 minus C cubed. But in, at an instant when d, the rate dp over dt is equal to 41 and c equals 15, what is the value of dc over dt? So we want to differentiate this with respect to time or implicitly with respect to time. So I'm going to differentiate the p squared. I have to make sure I apply chain rule to generate my dp by dt. I'm going to differentiate the cube. And I have to make sure that I multiply the derivative of negative c, which is negative dc over dt. Okay, so basically I'm going to differentiate this implicitly with respect to time, and then I'm going to plug in all the parts that I know and solve for the unknown part. Here we have our p, dp by dt is given, and we're going to replace that. We have our c value that's given, so we're going to replace that and we need to solve for dc by dt we still need to substitute for that p value now to find the p value we're going to use the original equation to calculate the p value since we have a c value so when we plug in we're going to get 20 minus c cubed and we want to know when that p value what that p-value is when the c-value is equal to 15. Okay, so we end up with p squared equals 125. So that's going to be 20 minus 15 is 5. 5 cubed is 125. Square root both sides of this, I get plus minus square root 125. So it did say the positive values of variables p and c so we're just going to use p equals positive root 125 so I'm going to simplify that to 5 root 5 and then we, now we can plug in for p so I'm going to substitute in all the parts I know 2 times 5 root 5 times dp by dt, we establish this 41, 3 times 20 minus c, which is 15, squared, I'm going to put the negative out here, and then we end up with dc by dt. So this works out to be 81, and I'm going to keep the 5 root 5, because I see there's a factor of 5 over here. We're going to divide that by negative 3, times 25 and I think I've counted for what's it, this is 82 sorry 2 times 41 is 82 divide by negative 3 divide by 10 minus 15 squared which is 25 and that's going to give me my DC by DT simplifying this I have some common factors so I end up with negative 82 over 15 root 5, and that is my dc by dt. Okay, so when I take a look at here, this is, the answer is d. For limit problems, we always want to substitute in the limit and see if we can evaluate. And in this case, this is really a situation where we just plug in the negative infinity and we can evaluate this. So when we plug in the negative infinity, we end up with, I'll just rewrite this, the limit as x goes to negative infinity. And because it's negative, that makes a real big difference because when we do an exponent to a negative, it goes to zero. So we end up with plus like that and four minus five to the power x. So we always test the limit before we do any kind of messing around with it. 
when we test the limit, we get 3 plus 2 to the negative infinity over 4 minus 5 to the negative infinity. Okay, well, any exponent to the negative infinity goes to 0. When we look at an exponential function, okay, no matter what the base, as we go this way, okay, as we go to the left, this graph tends towards 0. So, just clean that up a bit. As I go this way, y equals y tends to 0. So this is just going to be 3 plus 0 over 4 minus 0. Okay, And so we end up with 3 over 4 as the limit. So the answer is C.